Hey, Roxy, how are you? Roxana, how was your day? Hi, teacher, good evening. Good evening. So how was your day today? Uh, it was great, thanks. Okay. And you? Oh, it was pretty good. You know, always a lot of activities and working. Um, and tell me, what time did you go to work today? Uh, I I went to at 7. At 7? Did you have 7 any problems with the traffic because of, you know, the no. street or anything? No. I, I, I walked from my my work it's near oh. my house yeah okay. i live in the city in the same city that i work so only is necessary for you to walk to work so every yeah. day you, go, you walk and you return yeah hey that's great it's no, great you don't spend money on gasoline you don't spend no. time in traffic yeah it's great it is. That's a, that's an amazing activity. Is is not a lot of people that have that ability to walk to work. Most people have to take the bus or drive a car and spend one hour in traffic or forty minutes. And spend money for a bag. And also to spend money. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ivania, what about you? How do you go to work? Hello. Good evening. What is the question, Tisha? How do you go to work? Um, in my car, by car. Okay, and how long do you take? Um, like 40 minutes. Uh-huh, you see, like 40 minutes. So 40 minutes to work and 40 minutes home. Yes. And how do you feel with the traffic? You are happy when you go in the car and you say, ah, yeah, traffic again. Excellent. Um, I am, I try to enjoy it, like uh, listen, listening music or listening podcasts or something like that. Mm, okay. And what podcast do you like to listen to? Um, I am listening one about... Um, yeah, I, I didn't remember the name, but it's about uh, <laughs> finance. Finance in Spanish. Yes, yes, oh. in Spanish. Finance for everyone online is the name. Finance for everyone online. Online. Yeah. Okay. It's the name. And do you like it? It's you you feel that you are learning something? Yes. Yes. For example, I listen something about how you can pay your house in um, in a few years. Like saving money. It's an interesting. Tell us, share with us. <laughs> Um, you have to pay more than the, uh, how do you say quota? How do you say quota, guys? How do you say quota? Uh, I know. The, the amount, of, I don't know, uh, the payment, I don't know. Very good. Very good, Ivania. It's in the chat, but you are right. Monthly payment. 
Uh, yes, uh, you have to pay more than the payment that the bank uh, um, established. Yeah. Okay. And you in 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 that a uh, way you you pay um, less interest interest. Okay. And Ivania, do you have your do you have your house? Yes. Okay. Are you going to implement this? <laughs> I want to, teacher, but my salary is saving not. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You can't. <laughs> yes. I think this is the for me, I I like the finance. But many of the finance books are not, or the finance information are meant for people in developed countries. Yes. For me, this is my, my only problem with finance podcast, finance YouTube, finance, uh, different things. I don't know if you ever seen um, Omi, Miguel, Alex, the other people, Mirna, Nuri, if you ever seen, uh, for example, videos and they say, oh, uh, how to become rich. And you say, oh, great. And they say, begin by uh, invest a little bit of amount into the stock market, buy some stocks, buy some company. And you say, oh, and they say, only begin with $1,000. And I think, hmm, two problems. Salvadorians, $1,000 is not a little. And two, Salvadorians don't have access to the same financial instruments as other countries. Because for example, I want to buy Tesla. I want to buy Apple. I want to buy... But in El Salvador, where do you buy? You can't yeah. buy. Yes, for example, I listened. Uh, I listened that you have to to say five dollars per day. But five dollars per day. Yes, but imagine uh, one Salvadorian, uh, one Salvadorian can't. Uh, savings five dollars maybe five dollars is uh, all the money that people have for the the day yeah so yeah, because the salary the minimum salary is 350 i think or 300 something 365 65 uh yes 65 okay so it's half the salary a little bit less a little bit less than half the salary but imagine is, but in other countries, save five dollars a day. Don't buy Starbucks one day. Yes. Don't, buy, don't buy one Starbucks. It's only five dollars, says. Exactly. <laughs> it's only five dollars. So for me, I love it. I love many of the books and the idea for finance and economic um, independence. But mm, it's not for no, not only for Salvadorian, it's not for Latin American culture. Yes, hey guys, I, I like listening only for for learning because but you yes, you learn a lot. Yes, and then you say, for learning, but practice. You say one day, one day, <laughs> one that. day when when I live in Dinamarca. <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh. Hey guys, yeah, guys, like, who knows who is Robert Kiyosaki? Is the author. Of uh, uh, rich man, poor man. Yeah, you know, when I when I read that book, changed my life. Really? Yes, one hundred percent. Who? Why? Tell us why. Really? Because I understand when I when I read the the, the book, uh, read that, pull that. I understand. Really understand. In some time, long time ago, 10 years ago, 12 years ago, I was working in the uh, company, but I began to read a book. I read a book in the other books, but I remember I read like uh, four books about the, uh, all is about the financial, but that uh, read that, for that, for me, is what the begin, is what the began, or the right now I am working. Because just I read and I understand what happened. And I understand when Ivana says, hey, but we don't, we don't have a, a money. Yes, me too. But I try. 
And when I try, I, I all day, all day, I remember just I think in my objective, in my subject. I said, mm -hmm. okay, okay, okay. And I try, try, try and try. And right now, really, my life is a different life uh, 10 years ago. But it's a good, it's a good book. But the idea is, okay, read, pay attention and try. Because uh, maybe um, I born in, a, a, in, in San Salvador, but I grew up in Iloaco. It's a cabanas department. Mm -hmm. But my, my father, is a like a driver, and my mother she was a commercial a commercial woman, woman. And, but uh, my study, uh, I remember when I, I began when I, I must began the, the study of for type of technique this technique study. My mom told me, hey, sorry, but I don't have money to pay that study. But I remember, okay, I want to study. And go to I go to the San Salvador. I uh, work in after the war. I all time I uh, study, work and study. Yes, and I try. Okay, what happened? Why? What, what I? What I want for the future? And they pass the time. Of course, happen many things. Okay, good and bad. Not good, not bad. But okay. But when the appear in the moment, I remember one. Friends told me, hey, guys, this is a, remember you, the, the boom of the secret, the secret, a, a book, the secret? No? You know what it is? No. Okay. But the, the friends they told me, hey, man, the secret book. Okay. Just listen the book. But after I find that Robert Kiyosaki, okay. Padre Rico, Padre Pobre. Okay, good. Read, read. Oh, is it is true. Why do you change the, the job? Why? Because I have a because I have a, a, a fear. Fear because hey, what happens is, is I don't have a money to pay the house. What happens is don't have a money for uh buy a song uh a, a stuff or why ha what happened? The fear is like a is is like a, a like a jail. Yes, because hey, okay, relax, just try and think, what do you want to do for the future for you? And read and the other, I have what happened to when they, you are in, employee, what happened with this, uh, like a uh, auto empleado, what happened with the investor, whether try and try the, the, the minds is open the mind and you, hey, okay, it is true. But the most important is you want, go. But if you don't want, okay, stop. But, may, but maybe never change your life because never you try to, to know the new opportunity. Because in the work, when I was in the job, hey, what happened if I, I love my job? What happened? <gasps> no, no, relax. Out of your office, is there are many opportunities. Just try, just try, it's important. For me, this book is, is, a, it is a important, after this book, I read and I listen many audios about the finals, about the motivation, about the et cetera, et cetera, but really good. It's really good. <laughs> for me, for me, it's a full show. Great. Uh, the author, in case anybody is interested, is in the chat. That is the author of the book, in case you want to read a little bit about the book. But it's very good, the topic for today, because today's idea is how do we improve ourselves for the exam? How do we improve ourselves in English? And to be honest, the only way to improve your vocabulary, the only way is through expressing, through learning new vocabulary. Yes. You can learn new vocabulary through reading or like in the case of Ivania, through podcasts or through audios, audio books, mm -hmm. audio things. This is the idea for today. Today we're looking at vocabulary questions and how we can use it. How can I get more vocabulary? Many people say, I, how do you know so much vocabulary? I read, I want to learn more, I have to read. There's, it, it's no magic secret, there's no secret. It's no, oh, I take this medicine and boom, I know 50 <laughs> yeah. words, no. 
Uh -huh. The same in Spanish. In Spanish, how do you know so much vocabulary? You read, yes. you use, you have. So today we're going to start with our first activity. Here we have highlighted words. For example, here we have scooping up, we have tint, we have different vocabulary words that we have. Utensils, adapt, more so, persist, okay? All of these with our partners, we are going to read. And from there, the context, the idea, what are we choosing? Which word is closest in meaning, excuse me, uh, closest okay. in meaning to that? Now, okay. what is one of the techniques that you can do? For example, the first word is utensils. I don't know what is utensils, but according to the context, I put in the others. I read the sentence and I put in gadgets. I read the sentence, I put in cutlery. I read the sentence, I put in hammers. I read the sentence, I put in weapons. Ah, but I don't know the vocabulary here too. I don't know the vocabulary here and I don't know the vocabulary here. Ah, okay. Which vocabulary from here, from the list is not logical? Mm -hmm. which vocabulary is not logical when you read are they talking about weapons are they talking about guns or hammers or, ah no 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 they're not talking about this teacher okay so maybe you don't know the word but the same technique if you don't know the vocabulary begin eliminating the vocabulary is not possible okay begin by eliminating the vocabulary and then make a decision on the other vocabulary Okay, I don't know the four words. Well, one, I know what are weapons. I know what are hammers. I don't know what is cutlery. I don't know what is gadget. But according to this context, I know that this vocabulary is correct or this one is not correct. Perfect, eliminate. So you have different options. If you don't like to read or if you don't have time to read because you have to learn a lot of vocabulary in English to be ready for the exam, it's a lot, a lot, a lot of vocabulary. The other technique, Remember, eliminate the word that is not logical in here. If you are not sure, always the second technique, replace. Put the word that you select in the sentence and read the sentence to see if it's logical. Okay. okay? So okay. with our partners, we are going to do vocabulary questions, section one in reading. We have six questions with our partner. We want to read, make sure we take our time and put in, in the best choice for those words. Okay. Any questions? It's okay for everyone, the instructions? Yes, it is okay. It's okay, teacher. Okay. All right. Let's go with our partners and let's see we complete this.
Omi, you having problems with the internet?
Okay. Can we finish? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So let's take a look at it. Let's make sure that we're okay and we don't have any questions with it. Who would like to begin reading? Who would like to read the first paragraph? Me. Hi, teacher. Okay. okay. We okay. have two people, the first paragraph and the second paragraph. Mm -hmm. Please, the, first. the latest is first. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, the four we still know become an standard like item in Europe until the 18th century was almost unheard of in America. With the absence of books, it can be assumed the colonies used a strong instead. I continue? Yes, yes, yes. The knife was probably held in the right hand. Generally, the preferred hand for manipulating utensils. Good. The, so <laughs> utensils, what is the idea of utensils? Yes, cutlery. 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 Okay. Cutlery. Good, good. Nuri, continue reading. Okay. And, um, the spoon? The spoon, the spoon in test. The spoon would have? Would have. The spoon. Ah, the spoon. Would have been held in the left hand with the concave part of the ball facing downward. In this position, the dinner will be more adept. Ah, adept. So what is? This adapt. What was adapt? Is closest in meaning to proficient. Proficient. Okay. Proficient. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Now let's take a look. Uh, Mirna, continue reading. Okay. At securing. Okay. At uh, securing a piece of meat against a plate while the cooking took place, when the meat was put, the dumb tongue is spoon will not have been suitable for, for picking up the morsel. Okay, and there, number three, what is the idea of morsel? For picking up the piece. Piece. The piece. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Yes, please. Miguel, continue reading. Probably the din. Probably the dinner will have put the knife down and shifted the spoon to the right hand. The action will bring the spoon into the correct position for scooping up the bite of the food of food. Oh, so what would be scooping up? Picking up. Picking up. Picking up. up. Okay, picking up. Good. Okay, the next paragraph. Can I teach her? I, I think it was Alex. I don't remember, but if oh. not, go ahead. Okay, okay. Okay, Alex. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, this practice of shifting utensils back and forth between hands continued when the fork made its way to America. It replaced the spoon as the tool to secure the food being cut. The fork keep the food against the plate more adequately and its curving tines serve the same function as the bowl on the spoon. Oh, what is this? The word tines. Prongs. Prongs. Okay. All right, we're going to find out. Good. And who is going to read the last part? Teacher. Okay, please. Okay. Uh, the custom? The custom of <coughs> shifting the four from the left of hand to... Oh, sorry, sorry. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. From the left hand to the right was no longer necessary, but people continue to use the style that they were used to. This American style of handing eating utensils persists to this day. Oh, what is that? Persists. Continues. Continues. Okay. Yes. Very good ideas. Excellent. So as we can see, we have all of those words. All of the answers that we did together are correct. If you had a mistake, here's your opportunity to correct it. Number one, cuddly. Number two, proficient. Three pieces. <coughs> Four, picking up. Five prongs. Six continues. Okay. Now, like I said, maybe you don't know the words and maybe you don't know the options, but you mm -hmm. know your ideas of what they're talking about. And some of the words from here, you can easily eliminate. And that way you try to find the best options possible. It's okay mm -hmm. how to do the vocabulary questions. Mm -hmm. For, yes. for me, it's okay, because the idea is try to understand the context. Correct. And mm -hmm. is, remember, there are different techniques. Number one is the first technique is by choosing the words that is the one, if you know it, super easy. If you know it, it's easy. If you don't know it, number two is by process of elimination. Okay. Mm -hmm by process of elimination. And number three, always read the sentence to identify what is the context because some sentence, some words is not logical, completely not logical. And then mm -hmm. you say, no, this is not possible. Okay. Okay. And remember the best way to improve your reading, the best way to improve your vocabulary is like what we were talking at the beginning, reading, listening to podcasts, expanding new words, reading articles. For example, Luis likes finance, read more about finance. Mirna likes uh, cooking, read books in English about cooking. Miguel likes mechanics, read books. The idea is read, find magazines, articles, books, whatever you like, watch, listen, involve yourself in that language. Mm -hmm. For example, Ivania, have you seen the TV show Billions? Billions. What is the name? Billions. No. Oh, maybe you like this show very much. Billions is about finance. It's a it's a TV show in English about finance, but it's like a drama series. So it's about how the person becomes a billionaire. Okay. You know, uh -huh. It's it's interesting because you learn like how, Alexander how, says. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Like Alex, like I, Alex. I know. Yeah. You learn mm -hmm. you learn about it. For example, financial services, stock markets, investment, portfolio, the typical thing that in the Salvador, and, and they do don't you teach know, us. Sorry, do you know uh, some or any uh, web page that have, for example, for this level, like basic or intermediate level of English, uh, this is the, the like the reading that you have to. Ah, to. yes, for, for academic, for, for yes. reading for academics. Yes, yes, yes. One moment. Let me look for it in my computer and I share with you, if I remember correctly. Let me see. Yes, yes. here you go. This is for easy, beginner, elementary, intermediate, and advanced. The same, it's in the chat. There is more exercise for reading to help you expand more. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to spend money, only you need to have time. <laughs> you need to have time to do the activities, right? Mm -hmm. That's the biggest part. Okay, so let's go ahead and continue. We are clear with our vocabulary. Part two is reference questions. 
what do we remember our reference questions? Here we have a lot of them. We have three reference questions with three paragraphs. Why? What were the reference? Help me remember, what were reference questions? Nobody remember, everybody looking at the, nope. at the floor. No, 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 I don't, uh, 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 uh. The, the referral question uh -huh. is, a, is about that, for example, identify the meaning of the words and by identify the meaning of the word, and then don't remember. Let me give uh, the, you an the, example. You are the, correct, the, Alex. It's identified. The price is like a highlight or something like that. Mm, a little bit different. So, for example, Nuri and Luis are very good students. He studies in the morning and she studies at night. They love to come to English class. Who is he? He refers to? Mm -hmm. You say Luis? Correct. Mm -hmm. They refers to? Uh, Luis saying... Nuri, I think, you, ah, you said. Exactly. That is the reference questions. References, you read, and this vocabulary is for what? Is for the book, is for the reading, is for the person. This is the reference question, okay? Okay. Okay. All right. So now with our partners, we are going to do three, three reference questions. How do we have reference questions? You read the paragraph and hear these people. These people refers to what? We read the paragraph, these students. These students are what? Here, some, oh, here's a different word. Some, some what? What are they talking about? Okay, so with okay. your partner, you have to read and match what the reference is, okay? What are they describing with those words? It's okay? okay. Yes, teacher. Okay. All right. Let's try one more time. There you go. Okay.
Okay, let's take a look here. Who would like to read this paragraph? Who's going to read the first paragraph? <laughs> I'd like to read the note. Okay, please. <laughs> okay. Okay, one of the most potentially exclusive international problems is that of mass students. But the more than six billion people in the world, an increasing number of them are determined of the travel. Only a vast number of travel have with tourist tribes around the globe. In thousands of Peru beaches, quantity village, historic cities, in regions of exquisite natural beauty have become victims of developers building scams. Attempts to accommodate these people have led to the destruction of the very attraction they have come to enjoy and have made daily living almost impossible for the local residents. Okay, so here, attempt to accommodate these people. What are we talking about yeah. when we talk about these people? Tourists. Tourish. Tourists, okay, good, good. Who's going to read paragraph number two? Can I, teacher? Yes. Okay. Traditionally, American fast food company have uh, hired teenagers while teenagers provide a cheap labor that are sometimes um, realable. Uh, consequently, fast food company often use another source of cheap labor, the elderly. Older people are less likely to pick to skip a day of work or kit without giving notice, but because they have not been brought at with computers, they view the high tech fast food counter with terror. Mm -hmm. Terror? Yes. Training container have open in order to teach mature workers how to operate com computerized cash register, tiny deep fat uh, fires, mm -hmm. and automatic drink dispenser software. software. Mm -hmm. These students are put into classroom with their peers and things. Mental arithmetic is a thing of the past. Are thought how to use a calculator. Okay. So, who are these students? The elderly. The elderly yeah. The elderly. Yes. Okay. All right. Good. And our last one. Who's going to read the last paragraph? Oh, it's, it's okay. I, I see right there. We are right. Okay. So uh, I'm just looking at the time. We are correct. Number one would be we are referring to the tourist and number two, the students. Number three, we're going to read tomorrow at the beginning of the class and find out the idea. The important part is that we understand when we are reading for Part two, for reference questions, the idea is you have to be clear, what is the topic? What are you talking about, right? Like when the people are speaking and they say, huh? Okay, they get, no, the same thing. What are they talking about? Who is they, them, some, uh, those? What are these words and what do they mean, okay? Okay. All right, guys, thank you again for connecting. Tomorrow, we continue practicing more reading. Remember, we have class on Friday. So not only tomorrow. Yeah. If you don't come tomorrow, we have class on Friday also. Okay? Great teacher. Yes. All right, guys. Have a good night. Okay. Good night. Thank good you. Night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. 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 Give me a final mentor. Good night. Give me a final <laughs> mentor. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye, Alex. Bye.